in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of clarity. The worker will begin to chatter on about their life, making inside jokes and references which only they understand. All the while, they'll walk in a weaving motion to the recreational area of the building. They'll slide open a hatch beneath the table and suddenly fall silent with a grim look upon their face. You'll look down into the hole, and you'll see a vast number of lights flashing on and off, and you'll feel berated and confused, but you must go in. This hall seems to have no start and no end, the lights flashing sporadically, and you'll find that tiny flying objects flit in front of you, in your eyes and nose and mouth. The air will fill with a horrible, all-consuming buzzing noise that does not allow you to hear even your own screams. You must only walk on, and if for any reason the objects stop moving or the lights hold their glow, you must yell out, They shall not know I'm here, as I have covered my tracks! If the calm stays, you're too late, as it has already begun. If the horrible bewilderment returns, you must forge on. In your wanderings, you'll meet a door. You can feel its handle and allow yourself in. The room will be eternal, only the floor holding your mind intact. There will be a man whose entire form is run through with long nails and stakes, every inch of his body secured. His mouth is held open, pins forcing his lips up to his face, a stake buried in the back of his gaping mouth. His tongue will writhe and flop at your arrival, his eyes searching over you in a panicked state. He'll respond to only one question, why do they take form? His eyes will affix on you, and his tongue will hold still. In a gargling, horrible speech, he'll recite to you the creation of every object and the purpose of each. The description will force you to vomit upon every sentence, and the tale leaves most mad. You'll find a rusty and worn fillet knife in your hand. You must remove his writhing tongue with his pathetic and gurgling screams echoing through your soul. He'll seem pathetic and you'll want to help him, but do not, or you'll replace him. His tongue is object 28 of 538. They'll meet. Only you shall know why. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house and you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of the Frost. If the worker shivers unnaturally, you'll be led to a hallway that shouldn't exist where it does. The worker will wave you down the hall, and, once your back is turned, will shake his head and mutter, The poor fool. The hallway will get colder as you proceed but do not make any attempt to warm yourself. If you do, heaven help what will become of you. If at any time the cold ceases and the hallway becomes warm, you must cease walking quickly and shout, Stop! This is not the answer! If the warmth persists, run. Run as fast as you can for the exit. If you do not make it, then the fires of hell shall consume you. If you do make it, do not stop running. Flee the asylum. The city, the country, for the hellhounds have your scent, and they do not rest. If the cold returns, proceed down the hall until you come to a door made of solid ice, and knock three times. If a soft, womanly voice beckons you to enter, open the door. If a gruff, male voice tells you to leave, pray for a quick demise. Inside of the door, you'll find a room made of ice, with frozen stalagmites and stalactites giving it the appearance of a massive maw. In the center of the room will be a veiled, ivory-skinned woman. Do not look at the woman directly, and say only one thing. What caused their hibernation? She will tell you a story, a story of destruction and devastation, war and famine, life and death, and of a deep slumber. The story will chill you to the base of your existence, but do not ever look directly at the woman. If you do, your soul will be frozen for all eternity. When she's done, she'll remove her veil, but you must not gaze upon her. Her beauty would shatter your mind. If you keep your eyes away from her, she'll cup her hands over yours and whisper into your ear, The Ice Age is over. What will you do? The world will explode in white, and when it subsides, you'll be outside of the institution. In your hands will be a large crystal snowflake, 
That snowflake is object 29 of 538. The ice age is over. They're starting to thaw.